Ayan, it just um, give us your reaction to the win last night and obviously two goals for yourself. Um, I think overall the, the whole team, players and staff were just happy and relieved that we finally got that, that first win, which to be fair, I think we all think we probably should have had sooner. Um, well, could have in the first two games we played. So yeah, we're just happy to get that get that first win and get our season started. Yeah, football's a game on fine margins at times. And as you say, on another well, year, I suppose, the season, you could have been looking at a few more wins. But uh, yeah, I guess this one, you've got it over the line now. You can build from there. Is that the way you guys look at it? I hope so. I mean, like I said, I think maybe from the outside it looked we had we didn't win the first two games, but I think inside the building we knew that if there's a minute less in the Blackpool game, we we would have had three points. The the cup game we should have seen out, so it wasn't as bad as the start as it might have looked points wise. So I think we were quite confident going into the Reading game and finally getting that win over the line. Hopefully, give us a lot of confidence in uh, showing that we can see a game out as well. What did you make of the away fans last night? Because I thought it was a superb atmosphere and the sound coming from that in there. It was, I think. I think on the pitch you could only hear the away fans, to be honest. I think um, it was over 2,000, nearly 3,000, something like that. So um, it was amazing. Yeah, you, like I said, you could hear them all the way through the game and obviously getting the win at the end and celebrating with them was brilliant. Yeah, when you scored that second goal, you spanned back around and went back in front of them. Was that because you knew they were nailed to the other second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing the fans there, so obviously I didn't want to run over to the Reading fans, so I ran over to our fans, and it's just again we've they've not been in the stadium for so long. Obviously, I missed pretty much all of last season, so I didn't play last season in front of no fans. But just being back with fans and celebrating the goal with fans just feels a lot better than in front of empty empty stands. Yeah, how are you feeling? You're a hundred percent and everything. I take it obviously now. You're... You're scoring goals again and everything, obviously that long-term injury probably feels a, a fair way of way up. I yeah, I think I think I'm getting there. I think we we talked about it the other day. I think myself and maybe other people forgot that yesterday, for example, was only my third game back from my ACL injury because I had all of pre-season with the boys. It kind of felt as if I was back as normal, but it probably takes me a few games to fully get into that competitive fitness and tackles and everything flying in but yeah I, I feel good I feel fit so hopefully I can keep that going and yeah we know what the championship is like it's just boom 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 game after game after game and yeah another one in just a, a few more days and um, just wanted to ask you on last night you played sort of centrally I think last night but behind Chris Martin how, how did you find that role did you prefer that because obviously you have been playing out on the right I think yeah no I, I think I've always said it in, in every interview I've done that I think I I like playing through the middle. I think it's my best position, but at the same time, I I can do a job on on the wing if I need to. Um, at the moment, obviously we had Callum injured, who who is our winger, so I had to do the job the first two games. But the manager decided to put me in behind Chrissy, and obviously I tried to make the most of it, and hopefully I can can stay there for a bit longer now. Yeah, sure. I was going to ask you about playing sort of up front with Chris Martin. Obviously, you guys were both at Derby. Trying to work out if you played together or not there because you're both on loans at certain times. Did, did you play at times together? Yeah, we played together but never as a two up front, to be fair. Um, I think the f- was pre- in pre season we always played together and then for some reason the manager changed it to a 4 3 3 and ended up being on the wing again. But no, I think most of this pre season, to be fair, in, in the first couple of games we played together and in training, and I think we kind of got an understanding when. He likes to come deep and I'm happy to run in behind the defence, so I think it works quite well, to be fair. Yeah, what, what else to his game is there that, that really helps you? Because he looks like he uses the ball so well, I think. He, he, he just knows when to release it, when to play. I, I guess if you're playing up front with him, he's, he's an absolute dream, really. Yeah, obviously, he's, I think his, his first touch is, is brilliant. Um, he can get a hold of the ball and you know, bring me or others into into the game. and. I think it's just yeah, very intelligent footballer where he, he sees runs of others and he never seems to like panic. He always keeps a calm head and, and yeah, like I say, it's, it's nice to play with. I want to phrase this the right way. You guys are both quite experienced in attack. <laughs> Does that help a lot? You, you've, been, you've, known, you've played a lot of championship level, so both of you guys really know your way around the block, I guess, in one Yeah, I think so. I mean, 
yeah, I've, I've played a lot of games now. I've just turned 30, so hopefully got a few more years to go. But no, yeah, Chris is a little bit older than me. But no, I think, to be fair, talking about Chris, I think that's the that's the fittest I've ever seen him. I think he's in really good shape at the minute. So that's obviously brilliant for us. And that said, myself, I feel very fit and I hopefully got a few more years in me to keep going like I am. Yeah, you guys have both got two goals now in the league, so uh, good start to the season. Just wanted to ask you a couple of team aspects on, on the last couple of games. And set pieces, uh, how, how much have you guys worked on those? Because obviously you profited last night, and then that first goal, the second goal came from one as well. But the flip side um, is obviously the team conceded from one um, in the, uh, towards the end of the middle of the game. Yeah, no, I think we, we have worked on him a lot. I think the manager and uh, Pat, the goalkeeping coach, he, he's the one who, who does the set pieces with us and they've gave us a lot of... Imp- we've had a lot of input in how we want to do things and keep, they ask us what we think because obviously we're on the pitch and we have to be comfortable with how we defend or how we attack them. And to be fair, I think we've, is it three or four goals we've got from set pieces now, so I think obviously the attacking ones at the minute are working really well and... Yeah, unfortunately, the Middlesbrough one, I think it was one of them. I think it was just, uh, we just forgot about one runner and he, he landed right on him and he, he tapped it in. So, yeah, it can happen. But obviously, I think that was definitely at the start of pre-season a major talking point because last season we weren't good enough at defending set pieces. So, hopefully this season we can improve that a lot. Yeah, scored a few more in, um, in pre-season as well. I think in Alex Terrell, um, yeah, there was a couple. Um, what have you made of Nigel Pearson so far? Because obviously you've worked with him before, haven't you? So I guess you knew what was coming to the club. Yeah, no, I've worked with him at Derby, to be fair. Um, I was injured when, when he was there, so I, I only got about three games with him, I think, before he left the club again. So I only had pre-season with him, but he's, I think he's just... What you, what you see is what you get. He's, he's very honest. He, he tells you what he wants from you as a player, and if you do that, then... He, he'll do everything for you as well and I think his, one of his strengths is trying to build a team spirit but not just the players I think the staff and everyone around the whole building that we're all working and pushing in one direction and I think even the game last night I think you can see how much everyone was working for each other to, to get this win and hopefully if we can create that atmosphere we can we can go far hopefully Yeah that's what Nigel's just been talking about actually the improved team spirit is that something you've noticed this year compared to last year and how important are those um, things that maybe the fans don't always see yeah i think it's it's very important i think it's i think last season was was difficult because obviously we've talked about the injuries we've had and it was a very big squad as well so there's always going to be a few players who are disappointed if they're not playing so i think the managers cut the squad down a little bit the squad size so i think everyone feels like they're involved everyone feels like they've got a chance to if we lose a game, they can come in and, and then they'll be in the team and it's their, their shirt to lose, so to speak. So I think he's trying to create an atmosphere where everyone knows they're playing a part all season because it's a very long season and I think that'll only help us in the long term. And obviously a few familiar faces to come up against on, on Friday. If, if those guys are selected, the likes of maybe Jamie Patterson, and I think Liam might be injured at the moment, but, but we'll see. Um, is that an added incentive to maybe win the game? Yeah, I think um, I think Corey and Liam are injured. I think, um, but yeah, Jamie obviously he was here a long time as well. I think five years he was here, so so I think he's probably going to be a bigger game for him because he he'll be very happy to come back to Bristol. I think he's at Bristol City. He's had a very good time here. I think he's a he's a great player. We all know what what he can do. So hopefully on Friday he'll have an off day. But uh, no, we still speak to him. We still like we've got a group chat where we we always text, so we still get on. But yeah, on Friday, I think I've now been in a few teams, so I've played against players I've played with before. It's when you get to the kick off, it's game time, and then after the game, you can you can talk again. So hopefully, we'll we'll come out on top on Friday. Nice one. Good luck for Friday night. Thank you.